Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to be taking our first look at the Universal Monsters book test series by Josh Zanman. Hello my friends and welcome back to another first look where my job is to take a closer look at the latest and greatest magic products before they've even hit the market. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at another Zanman book test series. Uh, it's Halloween time, so of course it is extremely appropriate to be looking at Josh Zanman's Halloween themed book test series. I'm talking about the Universal Monsters book test series, right? So we have all kinds of different monsters from the Universal Cinematic Universe. Of course, we're talking about Frankenstein. We got Dracula, Hunchback of Notre Dame, right? And these are jam packed full of all sorts of different methods. You can choose one method, you can choose multiple methods, you can use all of them if you really want to. If you wanna have like an entire 30 minute mind reading session with just these books, you can do it. And the best part is, is whether or not you choose to just get one book in the series or all three, all three of these books are gimmicked. They work exactly the same way and they work together with one another. So you can peek multiple parts of the book multiple words in multiple different parts of the page, right? You can have them look at the first word, the entire first line, the last word on the page, all kinds of stuff. And these books will tell you everything that you need to know. And the spectator can be standing all the way on the other side of the room, right? They don't even need to be right there next to you. You can read their mind from a distance. You can read multiple minds at once. You can read up to five different spectators' minds at once using these books, right? And the beautiful part is you don't have to memorize anything really, right? Um, the books are gonna tell you everything that you need to know. If you can memorize five words, then you'll be well on your way to performing these at miracle status, right? If you're just like me, for some reason, you just cannot memorize words at all, like on the absolute worst, when it comes to memorizing words or numbers or any of those things, you don't have to memorize anything and you can still perform everything that's in this book test. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the different methods that are included in here. Hey everyone, so sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to take a quick minute to thank the newest members of the mob for joining. Thank you guys so much. It's because of you that I'm truly able to keep this channel going. You're gonna get early access to videos. You're gonna access tutorials, lectures, and even get one-on-one -on -one access with me where you can pick my brain about anything that you like. If you guys would like to join them and become a member of the mob, please click the join button or you can click the membership tab right here on the channel for more information. If you guys would like to see some more awesome magic, please head over to my online magic shop at obrienmagic.com. And as always, if you enjoy these videos, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the interruption. And now back to the video. All right, so let's assume that you got all of the books in the series, right? How do they work together? Well, one of the books is gonna peek at the other two. But the cool thing about it is that all three books are gimmicked, so it doesn't matter which book the spectator chooses. You don't have to magician's choice them out of it. It is a completely fair choice. You could be like, pick a book, any book. Let's just say they pick Frankenstein. You can let them have Frankenstein. And then you can tell them, which book do you want me to use? they can tell you, I want you to use Dracula, right? So now I have Dracula here. I could flip through the pages of Dracula. They can say stop. And I can say, did you want to open to uh, this page here? Uh, page 50, is that okay? And they might be like, no, I want you to keep going. All right, it's a completely fair choice. Um, let's see, how about um, page 108? Does that sound okay to you? They'll say yes. Perfect, go ahead and open to page 108 in your book, and I already know that they are gonna be looking at the words ugly creatures on the first line in the Frankenstein book. So page 108, again, no forcing, no fishing, no guessing. It just straight up tells you, uh, page 108, the first words on the line, ugly creatures. And now that you know that information, you can reveal it in any way that you want. You can write it down, you can reveal just the first word, you can reveal the first few words, or uh, you'll also learn my inception method where you can have them learn a specific, uh, or have them 
uh, look at a specific word on the line and you can reveal what word it is that they're thinking of with a 100% accuracy rate. You don't have to worry about them looking at the wrong word or anything like that. It hits 100% of the time, right? So um, that is the uh, multiple book version. And like I said, all the books work together. Let's just say um, I have the Hunchback book, right? And I tossed out Frankenstein and Dracula to the audience and I'm holding on to the Hunchback. I could flip through, they could stop me at any time. Page 40, is that the one that you want me to do, right? So I'm gonna have them looking at Dracula and I'm gonna have them looking at Frankenstein, right? And so um, Dracula, they're gonna see under no obligation and in Frankenstein, they're gonna see heaven and earth, right? So what did I say, page 40, right? Under no obligation. And then Frankenstein on page 40, it should say heaven and earth, heaven and earth. And it really is that quick. It really is that easy. That is the multiple book version. Now, of course, knowing Josh Sandman, he wouldn't only just give you that one method. Of course, he's gonna give you his classic Sandman book test method, the super flashback. That's the one where you flip through the pages. They say stop at any page that they want. Again, completely fair choice. They can keep going if they want to. You have them look at the first word on the page, right? And again, it doesn't look like you've done anything, but you already know what they're thinking of the word together. It just really is that quick and that easy. It will tell you the first word that they're thinking of. And it's lightly examinable. They're not gonna see the same word replicated on each page. They could flip through just like this. They can look all both sides of the page. They're not gonna see any page, any words repeating or anything like that, right? Like I said, it's lightly examinable. Now, what do I mean by that? You're not gonna be able to read this as a book. It's just not gonna make sense. It's gonna be a, a garbled bunch of nonsense uh, if they were to try to read it cover to cover. But at a glance, they could flip through the pages, right? And it looks like a completely ordinary book. There's nothing really to find, right? So when I say it's, it's lightly examinable, that's what I mean. I mean that they can uh, flip through the pages, they can check it out. It's a different word on the first word of every page, every time and all of that good stuff, right? Um, the next thing that you're gonna learn is uh, one of my favorite uh, pieces of magic of all time, and that is uh, the Pegasus page method. And again, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna flip through. They're gonna stop you anytime time that you want, right? So you're gonna open the book to a page uh, where they tell you to stop, and you're gonna have them memorize the page number, but instead of looking at the first word on the page, um, you want them to look at that entire first line, and you have them look over here at the right-hand page this time. Look at that entire first line, think of a word on that line, and then close the book. So now they're thinking of a word and they're thinking of a page number. Then you're gonna produce a page. And the cool thing about this page is you can produce it from your wallet, your pocket, your shoe, inside of a sealed envelope on stage, underneath someone's chair in the very back of the room, it does not matter, you're gonna produce a page. But not just any page. You're gonna ask them what page were you on? They're gonna say 103, but that's page 103. Interesting. And uh, what word were you thinking of? Illuminated. What word did I circle at the top of the page? Illuminated. Now, you've been holding this book in your hand the entire time. Do me a favor, open up to page 103. They're gonna flip through the pages, but when they go to get to page 103, the page is missing. It's not there anymore. And the page that you're holding not only is page 103 from the same book, but it's the page 103 from the book that's been in their control the entire time. And you can show all of the tears, everything lines up perfectly. You can take the book back, let them have a seat, and now you've just done something so freaking cool. That is the Pegasus page method, one of my favorite things that you can do with this. Now, there's also other uh, multiple spectator type methods in there, like a tossed out book test, for example. You could take the book, toss it out into the spectators, let them open the book at a random page and they're gonna look at the last word on the page this time, not the first word, uh, but the last word on the page, memorize it, give the book to another spectator, they do the same thing, they open up to the, a random page, look at the last word on the page, memorize it, pass it to another spectator and so on and so forth until five different spectators 
are all thinking of words. You take the book back, put it away. You don't need to look at it anymore. You have nothing on stage. You're just there with your empty hands and you're gonna have the five different spectators that are all thinking of words stand up, close their eyes, and one at a time, you're gonna to point to each individual spectator, reveal their thought of word to them, and then tell them if I got your word right, you can open your eyes and have a seat, and all five spectators are gonna sit down. 100% self-working. Don't need to fish, don't need to force any pages, don't need to do any kind of guesswork. You'll already know before they even do which words they're gonna choose, because it's built like that into the book. And again, I wanna make this clear, uh, it doesn't matter which one of the books from this series you use, uh, they all work exactly the same way. So if you have one or if you have them all, it doesn't matter, all the methods work the same, right? Another uh, couple of different variations of the Tossed Out book are also gonna be taught here as well. You have Tossed Out Plus, where uh, basically you're gonna have two different spectators, each thinking of a different word, either from two different books or two different pages of the same book, right? You're gonna have them each think of a word from the book and then you are going to read their mind. But this time, you're not gonna tell them the word that they're thinking of, you're gonna tell them uh, what kind of image that they're creating in their mind that they're thinking of, right? So let's just say they're thinking of the word sunset, you're gonna tell them about this image of a sunset that you're seeing in their mind. Or if they're thinking of winter, you're gonna tell them, oh, I'm seeing like snowmen and it's very cold, right? It's like in, like, in the winter time. Uh, kind of feel to it. So you're revealing the images in their mind. And again, you know all of the information that you need to know up front before they've even chosen a word. You don't have to have them land on a specific page. It's a completely fair choice and it really is that easy. And then of course, last but not least, you have the reverse book test. Now the cool thing about the reverse book test um, that's built into these books is that um, you can peek at the words here and so you already know exactly what word the other spectator is thinking of. Or if you don't want to use these, let's just say you just grabbed Frankenstein. You didn't grab any of the other books. You just grabbed Frankenstein. You can go walk over to your bookshelf. I got books on that bookshelf there. And you can grab any book that you want. This is The Alchemist, right? Um, by Paolo Coelho. I can never say that guy's name, right? Um, this is not a gimmick. This is just a random book that I grabbed off the bookshelf over there. But you can use these two books together and in the same way that we showed you before, if I flip through the pages and I say, yeah, go ahead and open to page 76, right? In the other book, they're going to open to page 76 and you're already going to know, um, if I can get to that page, let's see, ba ba ba, um, 76. I already know it's going to be the word nurse. Watch, I, mean, I haven't even gotten there yet. 76, right? Go ahead and look at the last page or the last word on the page and boom they're thinking of the word nurse, right? So there's all kinds of really cool stuff that you can do with this. And whether you choose to buy one book or multiple books, you're gonna be able to do so many different cool things with this. I highly recommend that you get all the books in this series if you can, um, because uh, it, it's just gonna allow you to do some really cool stuff. Like I said, uh, if I were to toss Frankenstein out to the audience, the spectator could be holding the book all the way out in the back of the audience, in the back of the room. And I could be in the front of the room uh, here with Dracula and I can say stop whenever you want page 46. Is that okay? Go ahead and open to page 46 in your book and never ever is going to be the first couple of words on that line on the page in the very back of the room and I don't have to have that memorized ahead of time or anything. The book literally tells you so really really cool Universal Monsters book test. Please go ahead and visit joshsandman.com links will be in the description for where to pick all of this stuff up and I highly recommend if you have not already done so, and if you're interested in learning more about the Zanman books, not just this series, but all of the books that he's put out, please go to Facebook and consider joining the Zanman Book Test Facebook group. There's a lot of really cool folks in there discussing the different Zanman book test groups, uh, book test series, series, books, excuse me. They're coming up with their own methods and their own presentational ideas and sharing them, bouncing ideas off of each other. I'm in there, Josh Sandman's in there answering questions. It's just a really great community. So if you haven't already done that, please go join that group. Thank you so much for watching this first look video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, but until then, take care.